Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's Jane Gardner again, and it's Step in Front of the Camera again, Tips and Tricks. So today we're going to talk about the Blue Yeti a microphone. Um, I'm going to be using pictures because I don't want to move my microphone, but I use a Blue Yeti. It is a stereo condenser microphone, and so it is great for um, it has a USB cable on it, so it also, so you can put it into the uh, computer. So make sure you have a, a USB connection available. So let's have a look at the front of it. I took a picture, and let's have a look. Where are we here? Uh, there we are. So on the front, front of the Blue Yeti, um, you have your volume for your micro, mic, sorry, for your speaker, so your headphones. So you can um, connect your, um, um, your, obviously your headphones into your microphone and always listen to what you're saying in terms of what it's uh, producing for you. Um, you can also do the recording out through it to listen through the um, headphones and of course the button the mute button um, flashes when you're muting and it's a steady red glow when you're recording and it's on so that's always good to check because I've many times uh, had it off when I should have it on but basically um, the Blue Yeti has been really good for me I haven't really had to do any volume changes in terms of my um, once I do a recording but let's um, look at the back of the Blue Yeti um, so we've got a nice label here and we're going to talk um, in depth I guess a little about what everything is now gain is basically the what you need um, controls the amount of audio that you want to capture or the level audio that you want to capture on your Blue Yeti. And then the pattern button has the pattern of how the microphone um, takes up sound. So we'll go over um, gain and um, the pattern. Um, so you really have to um, do some recordings and test your, your microphone when you get it. Um, to see what you like the best in terms of gain. Um, if it's always in the same position in the studio and it's real close to your your voice, then you can probably uh, put it low. But until you try and um, test it, you won't really be able to tell what settings you want for that. But for the pattern, um, that is pretty obvious so let's go over the patterns um, so we have the stereo mode and so it's multi-purpose it's good for lots of different types of recordings if you're not sure what mode you need to record in then you can just put it on stereo mode and try it out and put it on a recording and see if you like it or not the next one setting is omnidirectional so it's a complete circle and uh, symbol on the um, microphone and the blue Yeti will actually capture audio from a 360 degree angle all around the microphone so it's useful when let's say you want to record a conference and you can have um, various people speaking uh, around the table um, and you can actually capture this their voice because this actually tries to catch the um, sound of their voice from whenever they're sitting or whatever sounds there are in the in the space and you can hear most of what people are saying even if they're sitting around a table um, so it's good for conferences or when you want to record in any direction um, now in a studio setting I don't think it will work for you um, because you don't want to catch the um, sounds of the computer as much either or any um, clocks or whatever else in the room so it's best to not use omnidirectional if you're trying to do a screencasting or a recording of a video 
So the third one is Cardiode, and it gives the best quality of audio. It's meant for podcasting or for recording voiceovers, and it will only be recording um, the audio from right in front of the um, microphone, right above where obviously the mute button is. So if you switch it to cardio mode and you speak right in front of the microphone, you do well. Um, but if you speak and from behind the microphone, it's very weak. So you want to be able to be up nice and close at a standard um, uh, distance away from your microphone. And if you're doing screencasts, I would recommend using the cardio mode because it gives the richest quality of audio. But of course, you can't really tell until you set up your studio and um, do a little quick recording and see if you like the sound. So the next and last option is bidirectional. So it's similar to cardio to stereo, but it strictly captures audio only from the front and the back. And this is useful if, say, for example, you're doing an interview and the other person is sitting um, in, behind, in front of you so that the back of the microphone as well as the front of the microphone is capturing the voices. And so you can place the Blue Yeti right in the middle and I'll capture both your audio and the person that you are interviewing. If there are people on the left and right, technically speaking, it won't be capturing that audio, but um, you could always see if it does or not, but it's going to be pretty noisy if you're trying to capture all four uh, um, directions, so it's probably best not to do that. So there's four patterns to the Blue Yeti, and basically it's kind of difficult to show you the difference because it all depends on your own studio environment but I'd recommend either trying the stereo or the cardio pattern and of course you're going to have to check your gain and see which you like the most. I've been trying it uh, quite a bit and I haven't really found the one that I really like yet and when I do, I mark it on the microphone so I can always get back to that setting. So there you go. Um, maybe we should actually talk a little bit more about all those types of uh, things like gain and um, just so that you understand it a little bit more. So do a bit because um, at some point we're going to have to um, talk about editing your sound and making it the best it can be in terms of your video. So um, yeah, it might be good to talk about gain next time. Or if we need to talk about gain. It depends. It depends on uh, using Audacity, whether or not you need to understand gain. And um, certainly the volume of what you're speaking, you always have to um, you know, stop your recording and then go listen to it and see if the the volume of the voice is loud enough. Uh, this one may not be because I've been trying out gain, but anyway, that's for next time. <laughs>